If you are someone who struggles with depression, I really want you to stay tuned for this video. There are many simple techniques that can help so much to alleviate depression and to even prevent feeling depression or experiencing depressive episodes in the future. Today we are talking about the practice of gratitude and how and why gratitude can be such a beneficial practice for anyone who struggles with depression or really anyone who is just working towards mental wellness. Let's get to it. so many research studies which show gratitude being a strong protective measure against depression and also a treatment protocol for depression. This means that practicing gratitude can help us feel better in general, but it can also help us build resilience to emotional pain. Typically, when I bring up gratitude as a possible protocol in a treatment plan, I typically get some questioning glances and wonderings of how is this actually going to help me? And I get it, I really do. Gratitude seems like such a simple and maybe insignificant practice, but I promise the benefits are truly incredible. And this is not just me talking, decades of research supports it as well. Check out these clips from literature reviews going over the impact of gratitude on depression. Studies have found that people with higher levels of gratitude report more optimism, positive affect, and satisfaction with life. People high in gratitude also have higher self-esteem and evaluate themselves more positively. Higher gratitude was significantly associated with lower depression. So if we can trust in the research and have a basic understanding of the human brain, then a gratitude practice can really do wonders for us. Not only does gratitude intentionally focus our attention on what is good and pleasant in our life, but this intentional practice helps our brain to seek out and find good things in our life in the future as well. Basically, a gratitude practice helps our brain to create new neural pathways. And when new neural pathways are traveled more frequently, they become stronger and more easily traveled in the future, kind of like super highways in the brain. So if we intentionally create these neural pathways and we nurture them every day through a gratitude practice, they then grow and become much more automatic so we can find the good things in our life much easier. When we are very new to a gratitude practice, it is really quite common for us to have a lot of difficulty in identifying good things in our life. Especially if we are in the midst of depression, our brain is likely pretty set on seeking and finding evidence to perpetuate thoughts and feelings associated with depression. Basically, when we are depressed, our brain focuses on things that make us feel worse. Now, why would our brain do that, you might ask? Which is a great question, especially seen as the primary function of our brain is to keep us safe and alive. Well, one of our protective mechanisms is something called the negativity bias. This is when our brain weighs challenges or outcomes that maybe didn't go according to plan much more heavily than fun experiences or accomplishments. Our brain has developed this bias because in the past, if our ancestors were not attuned to possible bad things happening, they likely didn't survive. The ancestors who did survive paid a lot of attention to challenges and those predictions that their brain created to keep them safe, and they learned a whole lot from traumatic events that they survived. Because of this, over the years, our brain has evolved and now it pays a lot of attention to hardships and possible challenges so it can kind of predict how to keep us safe. And it doesn't pay a whole lot of attention to the good things because that's not really advantageous in its mind, I guess, for our survival. So while the negativity bias is well-intentioned, an issue arises when we don't realize that our brain is engaging in this protective mechanism. And so we may begin to believe that our life is actually terrible because it seems like our brain is only acknowledging the challenges that we're facing. Okay, so what does this have to do with gratitude? We have become so laser focused on finding these challenges or predicting possible bad outcomes that we forget to search out the good in our lives. And this imbalance often leaves us feeling sad and hopeless. A gratitude practice calls us to actively and intentionally seek out the good in our lives. 
this practice really helps us to remember that there is a healthy balance of both challenges and accomplishments in any life. It normalizes the fact that we experience the broad range of emotions and situations day to day, week to week, year to year. And of course, as mentioned earlier, this practice helps our brain to rewire itself. Basically, it helps our brain to seek out and find the good much more easily than when we don't practice gratitude. So what does a gratitude practice actually look like? Well, really, you can customize this practice however you want to, however it's gonna best fit into your life today during this season. I would recommend starting out by writing down the things that you are grateful for. It kind of helps it just to stick in our mind a little bit better, but if that is not for you, you can totally just reflect on it internally if that's preferred. Here are a few prompts to get you started. What made your life more comfortable today? This could be things like the ability to bathe or kitchen appliances that make your morning routine run a little bit smoother. Having electricity, having light in your home, internet, air conditioner, heater, those types of things. Having friends or family that can help support you in any way that you need. Or even having the ability to contact people that are not immediately within your vicinity, either via the internet or through use of a cell phone. What or who made you laugh today? Express gratitude for this experience. What did you enjoy about the weather today? Name one thing you are proud of yourself for and name one activity that you're looking forward to. If you'd like additional gratitude prompts, head down to the description and click the link for my mental health starter kit. As always, if this information has been helpful for you, please do let me know by hitting that like button and sharing this with family and friends, whomever you think is gonna benefit. Take care and I will see you next time. Thank you.